I just got finished filming the last tutorial bracelet in a set of four that I was filming. And I thought I'd show you what my setup looks like while I'm in Russia. Cause if you didn't know, that's where I currently am. It's not as professional as my setup in London. I don't have all of my things, but I do have box lights here, which is great. I have my handy dandy tripod and my microphone. It's attached on a very flimsy stand, but it works. It's also connected to my laptop with a terrible adapter situation, but it works. I've got my laptop here recording sound in audio. Dusty. And then of course, this is what my desk looks like. Tape, lots of bracelets. These are the four that I filmed in this batch. Got this one and this one and this one and this one, which you can barely tell what this one is because it's just two rows. I just finished filming everything. I need to finish these bracelets relatively quickly because I don't want my nails to grow out too far while I do that. And then I need to film the intros and the outros. In the meantime, I'm gonna give these files uh, to Stefan to edit because he helps me with edits nowadays, which I greatly appreciate. So we can get a head start into making these videos. I haven't posted a video in so, so long. I was in such a deep slump I couldn't get out of. I've been in Russia for a month now and it got to the point where when I was leaving to go to Russia, I didn't even take any strings with me because I was in such a deep slump that I couldn't even imagine making any bracelets while I was here. And I thought that, you know what? If I wanted to make bracelets while I was here, I'll just buy strings here because I can do that. <laughs> so that is what I did. I ended up buying a bunch of strings. I have a bunch of strings just lying around everywhere, like genuinely everywhere and I'm making bracelets again. This is the first bracelet that I made this year. This is actually a second one of this pattern. I already made a bracelet of this pattern. In fact, I filmed a tutorial for it. I have like two or three tutorials filmed fully and even edited that I can't post because I left the bracelets in London and I need to film the intro and the outro. I only have the tutorial filmed. <laughs> so I'm waiting until I get back to London so I can film the intro and the outro to those so that I can actually post these. But this is the first bracelet that I made. I decided to make another one of that pattern because I actually really liked it and I thought it would look for the thumbnail and it'll just you know fun to have multiples and then i was also making this bracelet just off camera for myself i was watching attack on titan stefan's been trying to get me into that and by trying i mean he forced me to watch the first season because i couldn't get into it and then as soon as the first season finished i have been binging it <laughs> because i got so into it i am now obsessed i'm in the middle of the last season currently but i've been making this while i was watching that just because i need to get my hands occupied i can't just like sit down and watch something i don't know how people do that i need to occupy myself with something in fact that's actually a lot of the reason, a huge, huge part of the reason why I got into bracelet making as much as I did. I used to watch a lot of TV shows and I needed something to occupy my hands with. So that's where bracelets came into my life. I don't watch as many TV shows nowadays. It might be why I haven't been making bracelets a lot lately as well. I need to get back into it. If you have any TV show recommendations, hit me up, you know, leave them in the comments. I, I need some TV show recommendations. It's a mutual symbiotic relationship between that and my bracelet making apparently. But yeah, this is a bracelet that I was making as well. I actually don't love this one. I love the way that it looks, don't get me wrong. I, I like the way that it looks visually. I like the colors as well. I like pretty much everything about it. I just don't like making it, to be honest. It's kind of an annoying pattern. It also uses the straight edge technique, which I haven't used in a very long time. And I forgot that I don't love using it because it's kind of annoying. I don't know how to explain it. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just kind of an annoying pattern to make. <laughs> That's just... Some patterns are fun, some patterns aren't fun. This one isn't one of the ones that are that fun. I actually considered stopping it like right around here, but I was watching Attack on Titan, so I just continued. Anyway, I thought I'd show you how I prep for tutorials as well, because this is how I typically do it. This is just like a screenshot off Bracer Book, and then I go over it with lines to how I want to explain each part, like in sections. And I also kind of use this method to judge whether or not a bracelet is worth explaining, because occasionally I, think of a bracelet that I want to explain and then I try this method with it and it's like 17 steps. And I'm like, no, I'm not explaining 17 steps. That's a bit too many steps. I draw the line at around 10, <laughs> but I kind of indicate to myself um, where I want to do the triangle end. And then, yeah, I go by numbers like one, two, three, you know, five, six, seven, etc. as to how I want to explain the bracelet. And then here I'm kind of showing myself how I want to finish it with a triangle end and I need to go back and explain how to get it into this shape as well. And then I have that for like all of the bracelets that I've been doing lately, even for this one, I was originally, oh, I think I erased it. I was originally thinking of doing this as a tutorial and then I realized it's actually really annoying to explain. So I ended up just making it as a bracelet that I'm making, but I still did this to kind of show myself where the triangle end will be. So that's how I do that. I had to get myself new washi tapes as well, which is actually very annoying because I like the washi tapes that I have and I brought them with me. And then because I didn't make bracelets for like a month, I lost them. They're somewhere in this flat and I have no idea where they are. So I had to buy new washi tapes and I don't like these ones as much. They're cute. I mean, they have cats on them, so, you know, they're adorable. It's just, they're more paper.
deeper than I'm used to and they break and like tear too easily. So they're kind of annoying to work with, but this is what I have temporarily. I have some other ones as well. I haven't opened these yet, but they're kind of foiled with gold. So I don't know how well they're gonna show up on camera because sometimes it might be a bit too bright with the box lights, but we'll see. I'll try these at some point. If not, I can always use them in my journal, which in fact, I pretty much have been journaling nonstop ever since I took a break from bracelet making. I have filled up like a good chunk of my journal. This is what my journal looks like now. And this has pretty much been my main hobby for, I don't know, a while. <laughs> I've been journaling pretty much daily. You know, creative people have to create. So that's what I've been pouring all of my creative energy into. So I thought I'd give you an updated look into my journal. You've already seen these pages. I kind of started off very simply. I just had my mini printer and I printed off pictures and then I drew little things in marker and I just wrote text and printed pictures. That was pretty much the vibe for the beginning. And then I got one of those Instax cameras and I started printing pictures off in a Polaroid fashion. And so those started appearing and then I obviously still had like pictures here and there. This is from my trip to York with my friends over here. And then I still drew pictures and had Polaroids. I got the Stardew Valley board game, so I was extremely excited about that. I had my friends come over, we all played. I don't love this page as much, but I went to the theater to see Christopher Eccleston, who's one of my favorite actors. He was doing a Christmas carol, and then we went to Taylor Swift tribute concert with my friends to like a cathedral. It was performed with classical instruments. It was great. Here I have some of my favorite food recipes. I'm trying out like different title styles, and I think this one's quite cool. And then here is the first one that I did in a collage style. This is from my trip to Athens. I went for two nights in November. It was amazing. It was my first time in Greece and my first time in Athens. And doing this page was genuinely so much fun. Obviously I have like the Polaroid pictures here, but then the rest is just stuff that I've collected through that trip. This is a bookmark that I got in the museum. This is a postcard that I got in the museum and then I cut this out from it. This is one of my tickets for all the ar archeological sites. This is also one of my tickets. I think this is the ticket to the museum, just the back of it. This is a postcard that I found while walking on the streets and then I cut out the Acropolis and then this is the top from that. And this part at the bottom and also this part at the top is actually something I received as part of an Etsy order. It had a thank you note written on this and I thought it looked perfect. And then this is just a sticker that I got as well. And this is the first time that I did like a collage page and this is probably one of my favorite ones still because then I started experimenting with collage pages. I was like, oh, you can do collage pages. And I read a whole bunch of Tehaley Jenkins read books while I was on that trip. I mean, I listened to them in audiobook while I was walking around. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do massive collage style pages for these reviews and then I use stock images for these so I don't love how they look like they look quite generic they don't have that soul to them these like I all collected myself so it all has like a soul and a story whereas these are like stock images that I printed off you know they don't have that soul to them so I'm probably not gonna do stock images again but it was still you know fun to experiment so moving on this is from my choir performance this is also a Polaroid picture like of the entire choir performing. This is my wristband. So I'm like just collecting a bunch of junk. We have this, these are postcards and stuff. We performed at the Tower of London. So hence the postcards from the Tower of London. You'll see these things dotted around. Um, I'm way too lazy to edit stuff. So I just censored sensitive pieces of information like this. So this was really fun to do. And then I've got this page, which is my 2023 Spotify rap. Got my top artists, my top songs. My top, top song was played 358 times, which I think is embarrassing considering I only listened to it in January and February. You can really tell when I was hyper fixated. But I thought this was really cool. Um, just pasting like black cardstock in was really fun kind of way to spice up the style of this, I guess. If I were to do it again, I probably wouldn't paste it using glue. I would paste it using something else because it kind of ended up warping my pages. So I probably wouldn't do this again, but it does look pretty cool. And it very much stands out from everything else. And then I've got this one, which I think you would appreciate because because this is a collection of some kind comments that I received on my channel. And maybe you'll notice yourself in one of these comments. I don't know. I did this page on the 6th of December, 2023, and I printed off like a bunch of recent kind comments that I received that I just thought were really cute. We tend to focus on negative stuff as people, but also as people online, you receive negative comments and you tend to like focus on them too much. So I wanted to do something to just highlight the kind comments. 
and I actually filmed myself making this spread because I thought I was gonna do this vlog a lot earlier than I ended up doing it. So I was doing it over Christmas. We had just put up our Christmas tree that same day. So I took all my journaling stuff out into the like kitchen slash living room to do it there. And it was just, you know, a nice vibe. I was like listening to music and just vibing. It was, this is a really fun page. And then I added a bunch of like stickers and stuff to it as well. This one's also one of my favorites. This is from when uh, my friends came over for a Christmas dinner. We do a yearly thing where one of us hosts and Thomas and I hosted this year. So that was really fun. This is actually part of a card that I received and so is this. And this is part of wrapping paper that I received one of my gifts in. And so is this. So I just like to collect like different scraps of stuff and paste them in. And this is my first spread from back in Russia. These are my tickets. And these are some cards that we went to the Tchaikovsky gallery, which is an art gallery. So these are some pictures from there. And then this is from when I met my mom and my sister for the first time. That's Stefan covered up. <laughs> That was quite nice. Here we have like just some random, I was just doing a page for a day really. Just a lot of stuff happened that day. I met with my mom, I met with my friends. It was my friend's birthday. Played poker for the first time, got really drunk. <laughs> it's a fun night. And then this is from a couple of days where Stefan and I went to the country house um, that his family has. And that's him in the snow making us some barbecue. <laughs> it's just a nice vibe. But here I am also like experimenting with new um, titles. And this is one of my absolute favorite pages as well. I bought a paper map of Moscow and then I started like cutting out the area that I was talking about. This is our five year wedding anniversary. We went out and we had a nice date in like the city center. So I cut out the city center and then like pasted a bunch of pictures from our time out. And then this is also that same day, just a bunch of pictures from then. And this is from when I met my new nephew for the first time. So Stefan's sister just had a baby and just had a bunch of pictures. That's Stefan and him, that's me and him, that's him. <laughs> I pasted it over a map as well, and it's just, I think it looks really cool. I just added a bunch of stickers as well afterwards. I think that's quite nice. This one is just a bit of a random one, and it served as an inspiration as well for a new journal that I wanna start once I get back to London. This is me meeting one of my friends. This is a review of a book. This is a review of Lemonade by Beyonce, because this year I decided that I wanna start listening to music and albums. I realized that with streaming, I kind of stopped doing that. Ever since I stopped having to buy albums on CDs, I stopped listening to albums. So I decided that I need to start doing that again, because it's depressing because I want to listen to full bodies of music, you know? And this is the first album that I listened to, Lemonade. It was amazing. I can't believe I've never listened to Lemonade before. It was actually embarrassing that it took me so long to do that, but absolute 10 out of 10, this is a spectacular album. And then here is when I decided that I want to start a new journal. So this journal is kind of like a collection of memories with no date attached. It's kind of abstract. Just whenever I feel like adding an entry, I'll add an entry. But this journal, which I've already ordered, this is literally what it looks like. I printed the picture off the page. I'm gonna start a media journal in which I have reviews for all the books that I read, the albums that I listen to, the TV shows that I watch, the films that I see and stuff. Everything is just gonna go into one place. And this one is gonna be specifically tied to 2024. So everything that I've consumed <laughs> in 2024, um, I just like recording things like that. So I want a specialized journal for it. So here's me talking about my new journal. And then this was a really fun one. These are the last days of 2023. Just a bunch of like home stuff. Nearly ripped his face off, I'm sorry. Lots of cats, <laughs> that's me and my cat. This is also picture of our cat. She loves sleeping in the weirdest positions. And then I, as soon as I took this picture, she woke up and I scared her. So apologies. And this is my reading wrap up of 2023. I read 62 books in 2023. These are all the formats that I read in, mostly digital because I travel a lot. These are the page numbers, mostly 300 to 500. This is my favorite graph. Storygraph does this, by the way, if you didn't know. Storygraph is what I use to generate all of these. But these are the number of books that I've read from zero to 10. These are the months. And these are the number of pages that are read from zero to 4,000. And this is just generally, um, the blue line is books read. And then the pink line is pages read. So you see in like July and August, I didn't read that many books. It's, it's around five, but I read a lot of pages because that's what I was reading the Stormlight Archive. And then here instead you see the books read goes all the way up, but then the pages read is actually quite low. It's because I was reading novellas and kind of short stories in December. And then I didn't read anything in October. It was a sad month for reading. These are all of my favorite books from 2023, sorted by chronological order rather than hierarchy of any kind. Some amazing books here, love all of these. And then this is the latest one that I have. It's a New Year's spread. This took hours. <laughs> Like genuinely, this little piece took me hours. But we've got a little New Year spread. Uh, here's my family. Stefan and I met the new year with my family. And then here's his family. We went to family's place um, the following day. And it was a really nice time. We had a fantastic time. So that's what my journal looks like lately. Once I get back to London, I will show 
you my new media journal that I'm starting. I'm also probably starting a friendship bracelet journal, uh, which is gonna be a separate one. The media journal is gonna be specific to 2024. So again, tied to a year. Whereas the bracelet journal, I think I'm just gonna start an abstract journal and just kind of have it be going consistently, not being tied to a year or anything, just recording all the bracelets that I make. So once I get back to London, I'll show you all the stuff that I got. Cause I also did a massive order for like stickers and a bunch of other stuff. It's all waiting for me. Thomas is receiving all of my parcels <laughs> and is surprised by the amount of them. But here we go, the journal's really bulked up uh, and I think it's, it's just really fun. This is what all of my creative energy has been going into since I've been taking a break from bracelets, but back to making bracelets for now. I think I'm gonna keep this vlog short. I don't think I've ever filmed a vlog in one day, but here we are. I think I'm gonna keep it short just to, you know, get it out there and talk to you guys in somewhat real time. I haven't posted a video in ages and I miss you guys. So I'm just gonna keep this one here. Oh, I say keep it short. I've been talking for like 14 minutes just in this clip. So it's probably gonna still end up being 20 minutes. Anyway, lots of stuff coming out. I'm hoping to get these finished quite soon. I still don't know which one's gonna be posted when. I kind of figure that out as I go along, but I'll get these posted soon. And then once I'm back in London at the end of Feb, I'll post some more videos as well because I still have some videos in London that I need to finish filming and editing. So I'll see you then. Anyway, thanks for watching, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was, it was lovely catching up. Let me know in the comments as well uh, what TV show I should watch and how you've been doing lately. I love chatting with you in the comments. And see, I even made a nice comments thing. I genuinely do read the comments. I enjoy interacting with you guys in there. So do leave me one if you feel like it. Even if you've never left a comment before, especially if you've never left a comment before, actually, leave a comment if you've never left a comment. I think that'll be really cool. I'll get to interact with one of you silent watchers, which there's no shame in being a silent watcher, by the way. I very much am one for like 90% of the content that I consume, just FYI. It'd just be nice to interact with someone if you feel like doing so. Anyway, I'm rambling. I just haven't spoken to a camera in so long. I feel like everything is pouring out in one big swoop now. So here we are. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to my patrons and especially my top supporters. If you also want to become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel, that's greatly appreciated. And the link to that is in the description. In any case, uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.